guys, I'm the genius, and today we're going to do the dancing monkey. Alright, how's it going guys? Today we want to talk about being the dancing monkey and the community always with good reason says don't be the dancing monkey but if you're a newbie and you're trying to get good at this game and you're real shy this might be a phase that you might want to actually go through and the reason why I say that is because most guys when they go into a nightclub they feel stifled they feel afraid to talk to women they feel like the club atmosphere is overwhelming and therefore it's important that the guys try to loosen up, but how do they loosen up if they're going to feel embarrassed or they're going to feel like people are judging them, that sort of thing. So the best way to do that is to actually be the dancing monkey, be the guy that's just got the big grin on his face, just got that, that vibe where he just doesn't care. He uh, makes all these crazy, silly dance moves. Uh, he sucks at dancing, but he just doesn't care, and that's how you actually be the quote-unquote dancing monkey. Now, the idea is not to forever stay in dancing monkey mode. However, it's good, if you're especially starting out, to learn how to get into that vibe of being the dancing monkey at the beginning of the night. And if you see guys in the clubs, you always can see one or two dancing monkeys walking around, not, da not walking around, they're actually dancing. And you can actually see them get a lot of attention from the girls and the girls will come up to them, start grinding on them, start dancing, what have you. And that's because the guy's fun. And we know that girls just wanna have fun. So if you uh, be the dance monkey, then you can actually have fun. The girls automatically want to gravitate towards you and then you can actually have fun with them. Now, the beautiful thing about that is once you learn physical game, which is what I like to call the high five opener, you can actually combine physical game with the dancing monkey. So that's just how you can come out of the dancing monkey mode and go into that, that Mac that Mac mode where the girls are like, okay, this guy's confident. He's not just a dancing monkey. He's actually uh, knows what he's doing. And the girls will actually find you sexy and find you attractive. And when you combine physical game, you actually will turn the girl on. Which brings me to my next point, which is the difference between guys and girls. See, when we're a guy, we know that we see a hot girl, she automatically turns us on simply by her appearance. She, however, whatever we see as ideal, or whatever is our perfect 10, or, or however, that girl's appearance, her physical appearance is what makes us attracted towards her. Women, on the other hand, are different. Women could care less. I shouldn't say that they don't care less, they should care less, but women don't really care about what the guy looks like, uh, where he comes from, whether he's old or younger or anything like that, what women respond to is being turned on. And the only way you can turn on a girl is to touch her, which is physical contact. And that physical contact is initiated right off the bat, whether it's a high five, which is what I like to do, or even a handshake. But a handshake as innocent as a handshake is, you can actually uh, escalate by holding on to that handshake just a little bit longer. And that way you'll be able to slowly arouse the girl. And it's also good for screening. Screening is all the, is the purpose for a physical game because when you screen for a girl, you want to know if she's down to party, if she's cool, if she, if she likes you touching her or escalating on her and that sort of thing. And that way by physically touching her and holding onto her hand or actually pulling her in, into you, you can gauge her resistance by how much she's 
tensing up and how much he's actually giving you any kind of resistance. And that's how guys can calibrate. You know, we hear the word calibrate in the community all the time, but we really don't know what it means. To me, calibration means you go for what you want with physical game, and then depending on how much she tenses up, then you kind of back off a little bit, and that's calibration. Calibrating, it just simply means just backing up a little bit, take one step back, and then go forward it again. And usually you'll find that as long as you got that big grin on your face, strong eye contact, eventually the girl will let you go back and escalate. And a lot of times, the reason why she res resists at first or she tenses up as at, at first is because she's afraid of being judged and she's afraid of her friends around her maybe calling her names in the back of their minds or, or thinking that, oh, you know, you shouldn't let this guy try to escalate on you so fast. So that's really the big reason why girls will tense up. It's not because they don't like you. It's not because they don't find you attractive. They actually find you attractive the moment you start going for it. But the reason why they tense up is because they don't want to be judged by their peers. And also other people around the club, they'll tend to uh, be looking and checking her out, especially if she's a hot girl. And they want, you know, other guys are going to be looking at who she's talking to. And she's all aware of this. Maybe not at the moment that you actually go for the escalation, but she'll eventually will uh, resist a little bit based on the fact that she'll step back for a second and think, oh, you know, somebody else is watching me. So this is why you have to go for it anyways. That shows your confidence. It shows your boldness. And then once you go for it and she resists, don't worry. Back up a little bit. Go for it again. And then every time she does anything that, that you like, high fiber. Just, just go for the high five. And she's going to give it to you. You know, more than likely, if she doesn't give you the high five, it's because maybe she's in a bad mood. Maybe she has a boyfriend. Maybe there's another guy in a club she, she'd rather talk to. But none of that should be taken personal because if you're a man and she's a woman, the only thing that matters is you're escalating. You're running physical game so you can arouse the girl. Remember, girls get aroused. They're not attracted. They don't get attracted. They get aroused. Guys, we get attracted. We, we also get aroused too, but we rather get attracted first. And that's what makes us, as men, go for it. That's what the testosterone in our, in our bodies uh, uh, gives us that chemical release to actually go for what we want. And women, on the other hand, their, their chemical makeup is they wait for arousal. They want the guy to arouse them. And so therefore, it's easier for us to play our role, go in, go for it, and, and try to arouse the girl, whereas the girl will either receive that arousal or she'll resist in order to uh, let you know that maybe she's not available or she has a boyfriend or she's shy about doing anything physical around her friends, that sort of thing. So. Uh, so I know I talk more about arousing the girl as opposed to being the dancing monkey, but going back to the dancing monkey thing, the dancing monkey thing is just to get you out of your head. As long as you learn physical game and know the reason why, you will understand that worrying about people, other people judging you or being the dancing monkey is not going to matter. The only thing you should focus on is arousing the girl. And a lot of times, especially with me when I high five opener, a lot of times you're not going to be able to get a girl walking straight towards you so you can get that strong eye contact and go for the high five. A lot of times girls are going to be faced uh, away from you. Her back's going to be towards you. Or you want to approach a girl and she's turned around. So one of the things I like to do is to go in for it, but maybe tap her on her shoulder, and then once she turns around, 
reward her with a high five. And if she goes for it, you're in. If she doesn't, well, calibrate, maybe go for the handshake, and then try to hold on to that handshake just a little, little longer while you go ahead and ask her the chode questions. Remember, if you're, as long as you're physical, that means actually touching the girl, whether it's a handshake, claw, high five, holding hands, what, ha what have you, you can ask the chode questions. You can ask the girl, hey, where do you, what's your name? What do you do? Where are you from? Do you like to party? Do you like to have fun? That sort of thing. You can do all that as long as you're holding your hand or doing something physical. If you're not able to hold her hand or not able to um, touch her in any way physical, then you know you, it's better off you just make statements. But you can't make too many statements and think you can't go back to, to, to physicality because when you make statements, you want to eventually look for the best or the, soon, the soonest, the quickest opportunity to go back to that high five and get back in the physical game. It's so important because girls, they need that physicality. You're going to find that your responses to text messaging or day two or instant date or a girl actually seeing you again is all going to depend on how much you turned her on. How much arousal did you give her when you initially met her? And if you didn't give her any arousal, then you can pretty much count on any phone numbers or any opportunities to flake on you to see her again because why? It wasn't physical. Nothing is happening. She's going to think later on, well, he was a cool guy, but I don't know if he turns me on because he didn't go for it. He didn't do anything to arouse me, so therefore, I'd rather not. I'd rather wait to meet that guy who turns me on. And that's basically the reason why most of your phone numbers flake, most of the opportunities are lost to actually see the girl again because you don't go for it. And going for it is just means physical game. High five. Arm, pull her in, put, put her arm around you. Go for the make out. Kiss clothes, that sort of thing. And if you do all those things, you will arouse a girl. Human nature makes it so. She cannot resist. You cannot resist. You're a man. She's a woman. Any physical contact, I don't care who it is, will arouse the other person. That's just the way human nature is. So always go for the high five. Always um, go for physical contact. Always hold the girl's hand. Bring her in towards you and expect her to resist. Expect her to resist because it'll let you know how much pressure she's feeling from her social circle or from the people around in the club and that sort of thing. It'll give you all the signals that you're, you shouldn't be worried about, but the signals that will let you know how to calibrate. And that's what's really important if you want to get good at this game. Girls love guys who know how to calibrate. And that just means that they know that they'll be turned on the more time they spend with you. But at the same time, they want to feel comfortable. To me, comfort, comfort for a girl is her knowing that you can calibrate after the fact. You can slow down when she gives you the right signals to tell you to slow down. And, but at the same time, go for it again. She wants you to keep going. She doesn't want you to stop. She wants you to go all the way, but at the pace where she's most comfortable at. So anyways, that's all I got to say about that. If you're new at this, be the dancing monkey, but immediately transition out of the dancing monkey by going with physical game. High five. Anytime she does anything that you like, reward her with good behavior by high fiving her. Even if it's just her turning around, after you tap her on her shoulder, if her back's towards you, high five her and then hold on to her hand as long as you can. And then go ahead and run your physical game. That's what I have for you today. And just a couple announcements. Remember my app, Express Coach, is coming out. I want you guys to help me promote this. It's going to revolutionize virtual coaching. So be on the lookout. Once it 
is ready and fully tested, I will let you guys know and let you guys be able to test it out yourself. So keep on the lookout for that. This is my second video for Genius Tips and I'm going to do more of these and I'm just going to run this as a series. Also, I'm going to go back to my product review. I got three products I need to review. One from uh, uh, this seminar that I was, well not a seminar, but this website I was doing uh, about a year ago uh, that dealt more with seduction. And also recently I, uh, I went and, and subscribed to Making a Shift by Julian RS, from RSD. So I'm going to be doing probably a review on that one first. And then also I have another uh, product review that I'll talk about more later. So I'm going to go back to that for the product review uh, for the guys that watch this channel to, to know what I think on these product reviews or what I think on these products related to dating. You're going to see some more product reviews, so be on the lookout for that. So until next time, guys, remember physical game, high five opener, relax. You can ask all the chill questions you want, but keep it going. And remember that girls want to be aroused and want to be turned on with physical touch. Guys, we could care less. We have to be the one doing the doing the arousal initiating the arousal initiating the physicality so appreciate you guys watching my videos please like and subscribe comment below and as always keep taking action